There's a problem right now in medicine. There aren't enough doctors who look like the people they're caring for. It's a matter of representation, and research shows it's affecting patient outcomes. But one Nashville program is trying to change that. From a quiet office at Vanderbilt University Medical Center, Jay Wells preps for a presentation. Okay. While it may not look like it, this is a lab. The only lab experience I had was a wet lab. I mean, I'm actually in the lab, you know, beakers and, you know, doing assays, but this was a dry lab experience for me. So I just got middle of a whole bunch of data. Jay doesn't go to Vanderbilt. She's a senior biology major at Tennessee State University, a historically black college or university in Nashville. We are talking about abdominal uh, aortic aneurysms. But she was selected to a year-long program pairing science-minded seniors with highly respected research labs as a way to encourage them to become doctors. Did it feel like a shot in the dark when you started the pilot program in 2015? I knew that this could work. Dr. Joey Barnett is a longtime professor and researcher at Vanderbilt. He came up with the program and launched it here in Nashville. The goal was to get minority students into science and medicine because they're part of a population that's historically underrepresented in STEM fields. Right now, more than 7 million people live in Tennessee. 16.7% identify as black or African American, but they make up only 7.5% of our state's doctors and only 10% of current medical school students. The data shows that when you have people who look like you in those areas, there are better outcomes for those people. And I think this brings comfort knowing that there's somebody who is there who will take care of them and is going to put the best treatment for them. At first, the pilot paired students from Fisk and TSU with researchers at Vanderbilt for networking, research, and mentorship. But it's been so successful, it's been adopted at 24 minority-serving institutions all across the country, and now over 200 scholars have gone through. You know, sometimes we have to uh, step back and not be intimidated by how big the problem is and figure out what's, what's the thing we can do that can then go on and have broader impact. Well, the student we featured in our story is going on to do exactly what the program was built to encourage. Jay Wells is going to graduate from TSU in May, and she starts dental school at Meharry Medical College coming up in June.